Hello and welcome, welcome back to Booker Chronicles and welcome to characters that I want to square up with. Round six. Are y'all not tired of writing shitty characters? Maybe you're not. I'm not really tired of talking about them, so it doesn't matter. Once again, I have five characters that I'm going to go through. I'll talk about the book that they're in, what they did, why I hate them, why I want to fight them, whatever the case may be. And then we'll do a bonus character at the end from a TV show. The TV character for this one might be a little controversial, but I stand by it. The first character that I want to square up with is Derek from The Kiss Countdown. If you don't already know, I absolutely love this book. It's definitely one of my favorites of the year. It is my favorite from the first half of the year, full stop. Absolutely loved it. In this, we are following an event planner who ends up fake dating an astronaut. And Derek is her ex-boyfriend. Why is he her ex? Well, our main character's mother is sick and so she ends up in the hospital pretty frequently. And this man had the audacity to look her in the eyeballs and tell her that she needs to learn how to put her significant other over her mother, her sick mother, who could potentially die at any moment. She needs to care more about the person that she is in a relationship with. Tell me you have a fragile ass ego without telling me you have a fragile ass ego. Who the fuck says something like that? The next character that I want to fight is Kendall from Worth It. So this is one of Lady Marie's very first books. It's the first in a series. Our female main character in this is very work driven. She's very dedicated to her job and her older sister who is married keeps trying to attack her for it and it's like oh you're working late no wonder you can't keep a man i'm looking down on you because you don't have a man blah 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 blah, blah. meanwhile she's having marital issues first of all that fucking mindset that someone is less than because they're not in a relationship is fucking stupid secondly you're a fucking hypocrite shut up like, the fact that you are so jealous of your sister's ability to be herself and not be dependent on having another person to define her identity and you just can't seem to fathom that even regardless of all of that i just hate shitty sibling relationships like it doesn't make sense to me she would constantly start arguments with her for literally no reason and it just didn't make any sense and i'm like sis first of all work on your own fucking relationship before you try to tell somebody else that either they need to be in one or they need to work on theirs and also you're too fucking grown for this shit act like a fucking adult so for this next one i do need to mention spoilers so that i can put into context why i hate this character it's Takeru from Sword of Kaigen. I loved this book. I rated it 4.75 stars, I think. And so if you are planning to read this, which I do recommend it as a fantasy standalone. Fast forward until the little spoiler thing is gone. I'll put up a timestamp for you. But when your home is suddenly attacked and your brother and your son die violently in the same day, then you rush home and find your wife and your very small child, I think he's like four, covered in blood. And all you have to say is, this is a mess. Masaki should have slit your throat right then and there. I need you to at least act like you give a fuck about your family, bro. There needs to be some sort of emotion. Maybe you want to grieve in private. That's fine. That's okay. But your wife had to murder a whole bunch of people your what four-year-old son had to murder someone to protect his mom and that that just means nothing to you you're just worried about the state of the house you worried about the blood staining the floor does it listen i know that he has like growth or whatever by the end of the book but honestly if she had killed him after that i wouldn't have been mad Next, I want to fight President Theodore Elmsworth from Figure of Speech. I do have a rant review for this, so I will have that linked in the cards and in the description for you. Talk about a man who just ain't shit. You are the president of the United fucking States, and you are sitting here throwing a temper tantrum and calling people names like a little bitch. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this specific scene that I'm referencing because I genuinely can't recommend this book to people because it's not good. But... The president of the United States is dating his press secretary. Obviously, there's a conflict of interest there. Obviously, if that got out, there would be some drama that likely is going to fall on her, not him. One, because he's a man and two, because he's a fucking president. 
and he just has absolutely no consideration for her so when she decides to not only resign but to call things off oh he calls her a broken bitter bitch who's going to die alone that is what the love interest says to our female main character he never apologizes for it it's never addressed he does not do anything to make up for his actions and they're supposed to live happily ever after i think the fuck not the last bookish character that i want to talk about is sheldon from tainted liberties this is a new release from lr jackson it is her only non-romance release it is a contemporary fiction that deals with a lot of common topics in america specifically racism misogyny homophobia things like that and sheldon is a doctor he is a black man who is married to a black woman and he hates black women he is the definition of podcast alpha thinks he's the prize but is honestly just a piece of shit and he keeps going on these rants about how he's no longer in love with his wife because she doesn't know how to be submissive and all this other shit and it's like bro you don't spend any time with her you don't spend any time with your children you're having a fucking affair and you have the audacity to be mad that she doesn't want to submit to you why would she and for our bonus character this time i am going with penelope featherington from bridgerton i can't stand this bitch i don't care how much you love her i don't give a flying fuck the way that she treated eloise in season two was fucking unacceptable and honestly the way that she also treated all of the fucking bridgertons throughout the goddamn series and colin specifically at the beginning of season three the secret being revealed at the end of season three there wasn't enough backlash. There weren't enough repercussions. I needed much more than just, yeah, it was me. I'm sorry, I'll do better. No, Eloise should have whipped her ass. Somebody should have punched her in the face. Colin shouldn't have married her, something. I don't know what needed to happen, but what did happen was not enough for me and I can't stand that bitch. I knew going into the season that I wasn't gonna be able to root for her and the way she acted the entire time just irritated the fuck out of me. Side note, when it comes to Bridgerton, I just, like each season less and less like i'm really not enjoying this show anymore the only reason that i still watch it is because my stepmom and i have a tradition where we just binge the entire thing in one day listen if season four isn't any better i'm gonna just have to stop watching but for now those are all the characters that i want to square up with i have already started a list for episode seven currently i have three characters on there so i just need two more That'll probably happen pretty soon, but let me know if you have read any of these books, if you feel the same way about any of the characters that I mentioned, or if there are other characters from other books that you want to square up with. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today, and I'll see you in the next video.